Hello friends, neighbors, John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome down to the nook. Boy, it smells good. It's a booker's day down here and that is always a treat to me. Been a tough week, that's not why we're doing this, but definitely I will enjoy today because it takes about a day to drink through some bookers. I have with you today this bottle. Now, I need to say like, what is happening? Have I been lying to you? Have they been lying to me? What has been going on about bookers in Canada or internationally? As I've shared before, we only get the 01-E version, but for the last, like certainly four versions of bookers I've had four years, the proof and age have matched. So we've said it must be the 01 bottle, but this one, 2024-01E does not match Springfield. A couple of weeks ago when I was opening it with you guys, I did it live, I lift up the glasses and I went, seven years, one month. It should be seven years, seven months. I'm like, what, what's happening? I kept tasting it with you guys because that was fun, but this cannot be Springfield. They're not going to just, anyways, can't be Springfield. So what is this? I'm not really sure I know. I do know it's Booker's and I can tell you how it smells and how it tastes. So let's do that. Pour something big and bold. Oh, and I'll compare this 202401 with 202301 just to see if there's any changes by my palate and if you should run out and get a bottle of this. Three, four. Thanks for coming back. You know, I uh, I kind of probably gave away, gave away is not the right term, but talked about all the stuff about Booker so quickly in the opener. I don't have much more to say. I just want to say, I will say, uh, you know, uh, my first Booker's on the channel is 2016-01E. And at that time, I checked and I'm like, doesn't match any of the uh, US version, so it must be unique. I said that clearly. But then starting with the next version, which for me was 2019, uh, 01E. Um, I said it must not be matched, but then I got corrected by uh, people that are watching. Tell us, John, it's got to be just the 01 batch of the U.S. versions because it matches proof and 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 percentage. Now <laughs> I did a bottle shot of this. I'll come back to this. I will talk whiskey, but I really want to get this kind of not out of the way. But I want to I want to share with you. You know, I actually wrote notes just to make sure. I, I don't want to I don't want to miss anything. But you know, like. 2019 matched Teresa's, 2020 Granny's, 2021 Donahue. I didn't have Ronnie's batch, stats matched. Uh, 2023 Charlie matched. And now I've got this 2024 Springfield, but it's not. Because the bottle shot would have shown you this has a different age. Instead of seven years, seven months, and some days, I don't remember. Um, this is uh, seven years, one month. And different days, like 12 days. So the days don't match, the months don't match. And the proof is slightly off. The percentage here is 62.2 and Springfield 62.25. So this can't be Springfield. Whereas, you know, this one, this uh, 20, um, tw uh, 2301 E, 63.3. And it's uh, seven years, one month. And, you know, that matches Charlie's batch. So uh, it doesn't list the days at all. So I just assumed they just dropped the days on these international uh, brands. But now I doubt everything. Now I don't know anything. But what I do know is I have really rich, sweet, smelling, full strength bourbon in front of me. So why don't we talk about that? Apologize for that rant, but I really have to get that out of the way. If you only watch two minutes, I hope you watch those. This is 202401E. No name because it's the international batch. Seven years, uh, one month, 62.2. And I'll put that down below. Let's try it just on the nose. Certainly, I've been getting to know it over the last couple of weeks. But today, what's it got? I hope I'd be able to, and I have in the past, be able to pick, it, pick bookers out of a blind. It's sweet. It's nutty. It's roasted or cooked down brown sugars, a little bit of cinnamon spice. This one, I, sometimes bookers on the nose can give cherry. Lots of people talk about that. For me, it, it, on the nose, this one is giving me what I get more often, which is like cut apple, peeled apple that's been left out a little bit. Like, so it's like leathered, browned, 
like, but not brown like it's been cooked in brown sugar, although that would be really, really good. I just mean that, you know, when you pick up an apple that's just browned a little bit, that's what I'm getting off the nose. There's a little bit of sourness. Don't know what that is. But uh, my mouth has started watering. Now, my bias, I have been able to pick bookers out of blinds. I have, whenever I poured four cast strength bourbons uh, blind, I have picked bookers either one or two. So I have a taste bias. I'm going to talk about that maybe later for bookers. Let's see what this one, this export edition in 2024, tastes like on the palate. Cheers. You know, it leads with sweetness. It's buttered corn. It's uh, all those brown sugars. It's all that cooked things. It leads again with sweetness. There was another batch. Um, what was it? I thought it was. Uh, ah, now, I'm, now I'm forgetting because I'm confused. Do I know even know any of the batches? But it, this is starting a little bit sweet, uh, a little bit apple. Now I could say, well, maybe it's cherry in the palate. That happens often for me and Booker's. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a little bit aromatic. Vanilla comes up now that I have it in my palate, chewing it around. Um, but it leads spicy, this one, not nutty. Um, and then the heat really just goes hollow. You know, when you're drinking 62.2%, uh, uh, I, I have water here. I'll try to share a bit what it is like with a bit of splash of that on there. But another way to do it is just very small sips, and that's what I'm trying to do uh, so it doesn't just blow out my palate. Now, that's first thoughts. I want to compare that to um, whatever this is, 63.3%, seven years in a month, bookers that came out in 2023-01. Uh, Let's take a look at this uh, Booker's 2023-01E again. These are the export versions because these are the versions I can get in Canada. Uh, it does line up, I think, uh, in terms of years and percentage with uh, Charlie's Batch, but is it now Charlie's Batch? I don't even know anymore. Um, it's funny because I remember the... Ah, okay. Let's not run down that rabbit hole. I've already done that with you. So this uh, came out, you know, a year ago. Uh, I've had it open way longer. They're almost similar to where I've drunk, had them down to, but this has been open a lot longer, obviously. Let's see what this version is like on the nose. Interesting. Boy, that nose is similar. Okay, now in comparison, this is richer. Absolutely, without a doubt, this has a bit more of that butter edge. When I say richer, it's got a little more of that that fuller, um, that fuller nose. This is, this is a little sharper. Now, maybe has it lost some of its richness? Maybe it's a little. It's still, it's still spicy and 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 um, sweet vanilla. But oh man, in comparison, this is this is starting well. Whatever it is, let's try this on the palate. Cheers. Yeah, but that's no slouch in the palate. That is so tasty. It's a little hotter, a little spicier, a little more black pepper with the cinnamon. Uh, maybe that's like the nose too. It just is a little spicier, a little hotter, a little heat. Um, but it is still sweet, cooked nuts, roasted nuts, um, oaks. No real smoke, but lots of oak drying, drying on the finish. Fruit-wise. Another quick sip. That one really sweet, uh, um, you know, sponge toffee sweet. Sugared, but like that big, you know, that sponge toffee they put in and then it kind of melts in your mouth. I only ever get it at candy stores maybe once a year at Banff. Um, but that kind of candied sweet toffee, sponge toffee specifically, all over that one with a little bit of cooked nuts. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, wow. I was worried. The nose just didn't, didn't do it. But boy, in the palate, this one said, hello. It's really good. Let's try these both with a bit of water. You know, I'll just put a put a splash in on them and then I'll we'll come back and taste them. Okay, I put some water on here and as they've been resting, I want to say another problem with me now not knowing anything about Booker's is I can no longer share, and I have been, uh, oh, these are the Rick houses. These are how it was made. This is the batch. You know, I watch other people talk about it. And I'm like, oh, do I get that? Now it's like, I don't, I don't know anything. Now, when they match, 
and I mean percentage or proof alcohol and age, again, usually not to the day because the day isn't listed in Canada, I've been like, I've been feeling good. And that's been the same for the last, you know, like four or five years. They have been a match. This is not a match. This can't be Springfield. And now I have no idea. I can't share with you. Oh, this came from this Rick house, this place, nothing. I got nothing on this. If anybody works at Booker's, Jim Beam, if they have anything to share, if you're going to put out a different batch like this, please do us the grace and honor of sharing the same kind of information you do with all the other batches. With water on the nose, this 202401E. Lost a bit of character on the nose, less richness, less butter, more sweet toffee, more vanilla. Try it on the palate. Cheers. Boy, it's lost stuff in the palate too. It's spicier, it's hotter, drier. Apple rind, not the fruit, not that browning fruit. Um, cinnamon. Um, is it easier to drink? Absolutely. Is it as interesting? Well, not for me. And that's wild because this is a monster in terms of proof. Maybe it needs to rest a bit or maybe I just put too much water on it. That can happen. Clear the palate. This uh, 202301 with water. Nose is the same. Again, drier, more cinnamon. Palate. Cheers. Actually, the palate's a little bit more approachable. Actually, with water, um, this one gives me a broader spice palette. They're still all dry and cinnamons and peppers and that kind of stuff, but it just dances around a little bit better. Actually, this one's uh, certainly easier to drink with the water. Maybe I hit the water right, as I said with this one. Maybe I gave too much. Right now, right this moment, um, this one was a bit richer for me. I'm actually enjoying it potentially a bit more. But I got to dial in the water because right now I maybe I hit it too much and it's just not as exciting with the water that I added. Hey, again, as I said, uh, if you know more details, like really honestly know, like you know someone, you work there, you're the blender, I don't know. Please tell me, how can I find out information about my 01E batches? I feel like uh, Booker's has been a favorite. I've shot at least 12 videos over the last six years with you guys about it. I thought, you know what? I'm starting to know Booker's and now I feel like I absolutely don't know Booker's, at least what most of the people are tasting because most of us enjoying Booker's are actually in the US. Ah, man, if you guys can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for joining me here. If you're in Canada, boy, I hope you saw my opening and that you bought this at that sale for 69 bucks in Alberta Canadian. That's an absolute steal. It's already back up to 97 or 98 bucks. Is it worth that? I'm enjoying this. It's really good. Uh, it's four and a quarter for sure for me. Uh, I need to get to know it more. It looks like I have, but I need to get it more over time. This one's very, very good. And right now I'm enjoying it more than whatever this was, 2023-01. Did match Charlie's, should be Charlie's. I don't know if it is. Have a good weekend.